Hello, hello, it is update time for the GT1000 and the GT1000 Core. I only have the Core, so that's the one I'm gonna be walking through today. Today's actually my birthday, and I only realized last night that there's an update, so happy birthday to me. So of course we need to get all of our updates from Boss Info Online. Um, I've got a link down in the description for these, but this is how we do it real quick. Boss Info, it's all the way down the bottom, little writing here, updates and drivers, and it's already A to G, down to here, and I'm going the GT1000 Core. Now the system program number is gonna be a little bit different for the GT1000 Core as opposed to the GT1000 because it has been around longer than its little brother, so it's version 1.1. So let's open this, have a look what we've got. Now the software is brand new this year, but you do wanna check on your core just in case. So how we do that is we hold down exit button and turn the power on. Exit, turn on. Continue to hold the exit button until the GT1000 pigs on the screen. Here you can see this says version 1.02. So let's do some updating. Turn that one off. They've added some pretty cool functions into it. I'm pretty excited. They've got mastering effects. Now from what I can gather of the way that's written there i think it's just sounding better and better every day and that's very very exciting we've got 10 types of speaker type settings so of course we've got the new ir200 and some i haven't used mine yet but there's some great speaker emulation in there so that's obviously i think why this is expanding this third point is one i'm most excited about they've got a blended dynamic ribbon mic type setting how good is that now i know in the Tube Amp Expander, they've got a blended mic and it's my favorite, so heck yeah, let's bring that one on. And they've added a whole bunch of delays into the master delay parameter from the DD8, warm and glitch, SDE3000, and standard analog parameters featured. It's very good. We've got a couple of bug fixes as well. The expression pedal assign has been fixed up and the Tone Studio is going to be a little bit more reliable. So still no Dimension C, but Oh well, you can't win them all, hey? Great, so what we do, we down to the bottom, agree, download our file and get things started. That was quick and easy. So before we go ahead and install the new firmware on the core, you wanna download the new Tone Studio software. So there's a couple of bug fixes on the Tone Studio. Uh, same as always, down to the bottom, agree. Let's download that one. So of course, what we wanna do now is open our little file down the bottom, which is this one here. And as always, just follow your prompts there. Make sure you don't use my password and use the one that is related to your computer. And it's done, move to trash. Tone Studio is updated, great. All right, so let's go back now into here. All right, so first thing we wanna do is hold the right button and turn the power on, let's do that. Right, so this one over here, power on. Continue to hold that. Hey, it even tells me on there, look at that. Connect the computer to the GT1000 cores USB port by USB cable. How handy is that? Now, of course, the GT1000 core requires this type of USB cable, which I'm sure you're aware of. That one goes in the side, just here. Copy all the files. Wow, it, this is pretty handy, actually. All the prompts are here on the screen, so you probably could just quite easily follow it on the screen there. Okay, so you wanna open this driver here on your screen, open the folder. All right, so it's this one here. Now, as always, don't grab and drag this folder. You wanna make sure you grab the file within the folder, pull it across into here. This is my GT1000 core. After the copy's been completed, unmount or remove the drive. Unmount, that's a new one. So we close, close. Drag the GT1000 core icon to the trush icon in the dock. Trush. Drag, disconnect, uh, and disconnect the USB cable. Let's do it. The message execute update is on the screen there and press right button to start the update process. This guy here, press update step one of five. We play the waiting game. Moving along pretty quickly for a firmware update. And there we go, guys. The update has been completed. We want to turn off the GT1000 core. Let's do so. Off. And then, of course, if you want to use it, you just need to turn it back on. Wonderful. So now that has been done. Let's open up our brand new Tone Studio. 
So go ahead and plug your USB cable into the side again. I hope it looks different. I always like when they do a noticeably visual difference. Well, from what I can see, it looks much the same, but that's all right. I'm not gonna complain. Sweet, so that's very exciting. It has obviously kept all of my patches. That's always a bonus when that happens. Let's have a look here. I'm just gonna pick a four by 12. I usually use IRs, but now knowing that I've got this blend mic, I think that's that's gonna be awesome. So it's got a standard four by 12 mic type. Haha, -ha, blend ABC, that's so good. Try that in a moment. Master delay, we've got, yeah, there's the warm, the glitch, SD3000, and the DD20 standard and analog. Brilliant. I'm gonna plug in and let's demo these couple of things real quick. <laughs> Sounds mad. So first of all, let's just compare it to, I normally use this, where are we? I normally use this IR, so this is what my patch normally sounds like. Cool, cool. Let's go to four by 12. Let's use this blend. I love these blends. Sounds pretty good. Let's blend one or blend A, blend B. Sounds great, blend C. Now I'm sure on the tube amp expander I prefer the C blend. <laughs> Sounds good to me, I like it. Let's check out these new delays real quick, hey? First of all, warp, I think, no, warm. <laughs> Good. I don't think I've actually used the glitch delay before. Right, on. All right, well, so far it's pretty great. Right, what am I doing? Cool, um, I have no idea. I need a comment, let me know. Look, my guess is that with the trigger, you need to trigger something for it to do something, but I can't get it to work. Dunno! Now this SD3000. That's a bit crazy. CD20. Yep, it's fine. And the analog. Man, that's significantly darker. Hey? Looking through the clabs again real quick. I don't remember what how many were there before, but it seems like there's a whole 
whole bunch of extra cabs. So we've got an extra 1x12. Um, I think there's a few extra 2x12s, a heap of 4x12s. So keep it on the same blend. That one, can you hear that hiss? I don't know, I don't like that one. I'd love to know what cabinets they're based off, but I personally love that first one and the second one. The other one's not for me. So there we go, that's how we update our GT1000 core. I'm sure the GT1000 will be more or less the same, but this is great. They've given us a few extra features in here just to help you sculpt your tone and get you happy and jamming in no time. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. See you next time.